I would like to first voice my appreciation for the efforts that have been made in the last few weeks by both business and government in preparation for the World Economic Forum and further continuing with the momentum after the forum. I'm happy that the post-divorce session of the Minister of Finance and Business on the 29th of January was successful. It is important for us to align our vision and the narrative for the country. This can only prove that for South Africa, divorce meetings are not a talk shop. They are serious work indeed. As business, you are the backbone of the economy. As you contribute 85% to our gross domestic product. As government, our job is to create an enabling environment. <clears throat> in this regard, failure in communication and cooperation between government and business is not an option. We have begun to turn the corner. Channels of communication must remain open at all times. Government take the lead in developing enabling economic infrastructure. This investment should not be allowed to slow down in difficult times as we may lose our comparative advantage to others who are able to invest and develop faster and better ways of doing business. Efforts to resolve our energy challenges are bearing fruit thanks to electricity from Medupi and core investment in the renewable energy program and now going into coal and gas. NETLEC has made notable progress in addressing issues around workplace conflict. The number of strikes reduced markedly in 2015. Government has also made strides in coordinating new policy through the new socioeconomic impact assessment system. Today, we also want to emphasize that we want to support investment. That is why we are developing the Invest South Africa One Stop Shop concept to remove the red tape and the regulatory bottlenecks for investors. Let me emphasize that we are serious when we say we want to avail ourselves for continuous interaction with business for the good of our country and our economy. 